everyone has his place in the world. We have to understand that and then be nice with everyone. That it's the most important in the world to be together. That it's the most important. And then respect everyone. Don't look at his color. No anyone make his own color. We just born with the colors. <laughs>
stuff happening in Africa right now but no anyone here in Europe and the United States knows about it the people has to understand what is going on in Africa to see the real thing the best thing that I could do is as a producer on the record is is to try to understand what MD is talking about and try to convey that in the music part and especially the song Afrique Victime to put it in your face and, and create these noisy solos in this in this song to kind of portray this message even if you don't know what I'm just saying you could feel it
first time I build my own guitar. I just bring some wood and then with the cable for the brake for bicycle. I was very happy. That was my first. So the first time I went to Mali was in 2011. It's very common to travel long distances by bus. So you would be sitting next to someone and you say, what are you listening to? And they Bluetooth it over to you. And Emdu's first record on our was very big in that scene. And then it was in 2012 when I was sent his next record and I reached out and helped to bring him to the United States for the first time.
was young, one local artist from my hometown, uh, Abdullah Mbadugu. It was my first concert too. I see him and then I see the crowd was very happy. Yeah, and then I say, just, I want to be like this person. Music, it's my job as well. But the most important for me, it's like to be free. The most important thing for me as a producer is to maintain the roots of this music and the roots of Tuareg music. Mdu's music was different to me and it was also very similar to punk music that I grew up listening to and punk shows I grew up going to in DC. And so there's this energy and this familiarity about his music that really resonated with me. I mean, it's just really important for us to, to just show that these guys, even though that they're from Niger, they're not any different than anyone else here. It's like we joke around with each other, we do the same stuff, they drive motorcycles, they listen to Van Halen. It's, it's nothing different than over here. Hey, why you